all, yes, I'm wearing my Ruski hat again because I can't stand when my head is cold. And uh, it's been a rough few days this weekend. I don't know about you, like, but when I'm like really like emotionally drained, I get the chills. Like I, I, I just like, when I'm not at my best, you know, when I'm not at my utmost, I get cold really easily. So I'm like all bundled up. I mean, it is cold right now. I mean, it's Colorado cold, but not really cold enough to be wearing this hat, but it's very comfor comforting. Um, my drive rant today is something I've been thinking about for a bit, and it's about what I'd like to call the politics of entitlement, but it's only in a very specific area. And I just saw a post again that did this, but it happens all the time, not just in posts and words and speeches and all this. And what it consists of, if you don't do X, I'm going to leave the party. And those kinds of weird threats are just, it's a form of emotional blackmail. Because what's not being said, because usually the X that you want done is the suppression of a view you don't like. That's, that's perfectly acceptable within libertarianism. Or it's just, you know, you don't like this personality, you don't like this group, whatever it might be. But usually, it's, I don't leave unless you do, now let's fill in the blank, suppress the point of view of this group of people I don't like. Or get rid of this group of people or get rid of this person. And what it does and why I call it entitlement, it is like acting as if the loss of you would be so great that we need to oppress other people just to keep you or just to keep me like what kind of entitled mindset is that it does no good and it is really super childish but I'm more fascinated with what kind of ego it takes to actually like you can think that in your head we think all kinds of crappy shit in our heads all the time but to actually like get up in front of people and like say that and expect that to carry weight. And the, and the sad thing is sometimes it does. Or to be posting that all over social media. If you don't, if you're not happy, then leave or help change. But threatening to leave if you don't get your way is just political babyish foot stamping. All of us have our no go points. All of us have points at which staying in any particular group, be it a political party, a club, a church, whatever it might be, um, it no longer makes it a good option for us. I don't know about you though, but when I've had enough or things I've, I've tried and things just aren't working out, you know, I uh, I follow the what, what's it what's the meme? This isn't an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. Like, and I certainly wouldn't threaten. You know, I just leave. I've done it plenty of times in plenty of situations. But this kind of like. Intimidation is way too strong of a word, but it is, and I think so is blackmail, but those carry the, the tones of which I'm trying to uh, express here. But you know, so there was somebody in the delegates group. If Dave Smith is our nominee, I'm gonna leave the party. Okay, I wish you all the best. You know, it's like, if the will of the majority of a group I voluntarily associated with and I don't get my way, I'm going to, I'm going to leave. Okay, then go. I mean, how important do you think you are? None of us are that important. It's just crazy to me. And I'm finding it right now. 
and this might not always be true because my particular tribe, the more radical wing of the party, has its own very deep faults. But when we start talking about some things, particularly nominations, it seems like it's always the radicals that are expected to suck it up and take whatever shitty candidate like Bill Weld that gets shoved down our throats and you know, if we don't vote for Bill Weld, then, oh my God, you're such a traitor. But it's perfectly acceptable for the moderates, for somebody who's not even officially announced yet, for them to be throwing absolutely baby shit fits. I just don't see how that's remotely appropriate or acceptable. But just know, the minute you start going with the, and you don't have to care about my opinion, just like I don't have to care about your threats to leave, but just know, and I don't think I'm alone, that when you do those kinds of things, if I don't get my way, I'm going to leave, you just lost a huge amount of respect in my eyes, because that's just, you know, you give up things like that when you're a child, not a grown-ass adult. In, in real life politics. So that is, uh, those are my thoughts for today as I'm on my way late into work because I had an unexpected emergency this morning. And uh, yeah, I keep saying I'm gonna upload these like live streams actually to YouTube and then I never do. But sometimes I just put up a more refined version of them. But I think I'm going to start doing that because there's some gems that come out of these rants sometimes. Because when I'm driving, all I do is think. I think way too damn much. It's driving me crazy. All right, y'all. I love you and I hope you have a good day.